Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is my YouTube channel, Sherelle Thinks, where I talk about everything health anxiety related. Um, so in this video, I want to speak about a mistake that I made through my health anxiety journey. And this is one thing that I think that everybody with health anxiety needs to stop doing. And it's really difficult and I understand how hard it is, but what it is, is you need to stop convincing or trying to convince other people of your perceived illness. So what I mean by that is back when I was, was really bad in my health anxiety, every time that I thought that I was unwell, whether it was lymphoma, a brain tumour, breast cancer, whatever, I would go around attempting to um, convince everybody that I was right. So, you know, I would like sit my parents down and I would say, look, like I definitely, I definitely have lymphoma or like I would try and get my partner to see where I was coming from. And I was doing that because I felt so alone with my health anxiety and I wanted somebody to take me seriously. But it was just it was just keeping me in the in the anxiety loop. It didn't I don't really know what I was attempting to achieve from that. I remember this one time I I can't remember what it was. What was it? Oh, that was it. I, I had like a bit of a strange abnormal blood test and my liver enzymes were like a bit all over the place. And I had put two and two together and gotten 10 and I was utterly convinced that I had bile duct cancer, which is a cancer that pretty much almost exclusively affects men over the age of 60. But of course, you know what health anxiety is like. If there's a chance, then, you know, we think we've got it. So I remember like going to Amy like every single day and I sat down and I spoke to this one nurse and I was crying and crying and crying and I was like, you know, nobody believes me. Like I, I'm like 100% convinced that I have it. And I remember she looked at me and she put her hand on my shoulder and she was like, I believe you. She was like, I can see why you're concerned. Now I freaked out out like I utterly freaked out so the moment that somebody actually did and I didn't have bile duct cancer obviously but the moment that somebody actually did step into my world and step into my reality it did not make me feel any better it just made me panic more because now I had somebody that was agreeing with me and it's just detrimental to our mental health and also to our loved ones as well because we kind of go around pressuring them to believe us, you know, we kind of like give them all this evidence and we're like, yeah, but I have this symptom and that symptom. And then we're like telling them to like read the symptoms on this website. I remember I used to do that a lot. I would screenshot various websites and send them to like my mum and dad or my partner or my friends or whatever to try and persuade them and convince them that I was dying, you know? And that's like really miserable for your loved ones as well. And all you're trying to do is to try and pull somebody into your world. And A, it's not fair on them, but B, it's it's not going to be helpful to you. I know like the reason behind it is that we feel so alone, right? We feel completely terrified and we feel that nobody's taking us seriously and we're the only one that is seeing sense and we feel like everybody else is missing something and everybody else is being negligent and, and not caring. But it's not that. The difference being is that we have health anxiety, so our perception of reality is distorted in the moment we're having a crisis. And our loved ones and doctors and all of the other ones around us, they're looking at things in a more logical manner. Um, so trying to attempt to, to pull these people into this delusion is is not it's not gonna help anybody in the long run. And I know that having somebody there that understands you and you know, gets what you're going through can be helpful in, in some circumstances, but I don't believe that it's helpful with health anxiety. Now, that's not to say that we can't look for empathy. I think, you know, our loved ones showing empathy can be massively more beneficial. So, you know, for example, your partner, 
they don't have to believe that you have breast cancer or leukemia or whatever. But what they can do is they can say, you know, I can see things are really difficult for you right now. Like, how can I help you? Like, shall we go on a walk? Should we try and distract you? Like, would you like to talk about it? They, people can help you without stepping into your world. And that's something that I had to learn. I found it really difficult. And, and I, do you know what? It actually caused a lot of arguments as well because I used to get so annoyed at my loved ones for not seeing what I was seeing, so to speak. Um, but now I've learned that actually the best thing and what I needed all along was just comforting and empathy. I just needed somebody to put their arm around me and, and to say, look, I don't really completely understand what you're going through, but I'm here for you. Like I can... I can distract you, like we can watch a film together, like you can you can talk to me, you can vent, whatever it is. So stop trying to pull other people into your health anxiety world. It's not going to help you. I know from experience, it just freaked me out even more because let's just say, for example, that you, you're thinking that you've got breast cancer and your partner turns around and he's like, yeah, I think, I, I, I agree, I think you've got it as well how is that going to help you now you've just got another person that is panicked you've got kind of like two people now thinking that you've got this illness so it's just going to massively increase your anxiety it's not going to help i promise it's something that we want to do because we want comfort but it's the wrong way we're going about it in the wrong way so try and you know explain to your loved ones that what you need from them is maybe distraction or maybe you need to talk to them or maybe you just want to sit down and watch a film whatever it is just be specific in how a loved one can help you because when we're like running around and we're trying to convince everybody you know about illness it's not being it's not helpful it makes them annoyed it makes us annoyed it just creates uh complicated relationships and we don't need something to make us feel even worse than we already do um so anyways, I, I hope that that was helpful. Um, I know that everybody's like totally different, but I really, really believe that this is one thing that we should all stop doing. Um, if you liked this video and you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you can keep up to date with my new videos. Um, if you want to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis, you can do so by joining my Patreon. Um, the link is in the description of this video. Um, I'm also on Instagram at Sherelle Thinks and I also have a second page which is Health Anxiety Community. Also, if you're looking for a Health Anxiety Facebook support page, I do have one and it's called The Health Anxiety Community. Again, you can find all of this information in the description of this video. I will see you guys very soon. Take care.